I have one of the most exciting jobs that I get to do for the first time. I get to, for the first time, pass two family bills through my committee that's going to be held the first time on February 12th. And as a woman chairing that committee, this is one of the most important things that we could do. It's protect each other and obviously protect men that are highly affected as well. I think one of the most important things that we can do for ourselves is to be able to take care of ourselves. And who better to know that than us women? Under the previous administrations, women's health care was under an assault and received cut after cut. Since the cuts, breast and cervical cancer cases have risen with disproportionate impact on communities of color. Just for just one example, in Latinas community, it went up 57.1%. In Gloucester County, county which I represent, you saw cases of breast cancer and cervical cancer cases go up 5.8% uh, countywide. That is unacceptable. But today is a new day. Since 2011, fiscal year 2011, since it hasn't been funded for all that long time period, we've lost out on many facilities closing and many services cut. And that's $7.5 million plus the additional money that you just heard that we could have had towards women's health care and other families' health care. So it covers middle class, lower class, all people who really need it here in the state of New Jersey. And it's only 0.02% of our budget. That's ridiculous that it should ever have been cut. Unbelievable, but this is my fifth year in the assembly. And for, for those years, I've tried to get funding back for this cause. And, it, and unfortunately, Governor Christie vetoed it every time. I'm so happy today that we can get this through the assembly, get it through the Senate, and get it on the governor's desk, because we have someone in your corner now that's going to sign this bill and get it, get it where it has to go.